All right, let's get this stream going. Let me make sure we're actually streaming before we start talking. You guys know the deal by now. <clears throat> Looks like we are good. Looks like we're green across the board. What is going on, you guys? Wonder Bro here for another live stream. I know we haven't done a recorded video in quite some time, but I will get back to those eventually. I've just been having a lot of fun with the stream, getting to talk to you guys live, and it's basically sort of the same thing as a video. So anyway... Today we're going to be talking about the physical symptoms of anxiety. Now, okay, a lot of people ask me about the physical symptoms, and I think it's due to the fact that they're not very familiar with the term second fear. So they think there's something that they can do about their physical symptoms, um, and then the thought stuff is a totally different topic. But it all goes hand in hand, right? I want to make that very clear first off before I do anything. I want to make that very clear. It all goes hand in hand. Physical symptoms are created by the thoughts in your head because the body doesn't know the difference between thought, you know, and a dangerous reality. So when you're entertaining negative thinking, you're going to get physical symptoms. So it really all begins and ends in the mind. But anyway, with that out of the way, we are going to talk a little bit about physical symptoms. So it doesn't matter what the symptom may be, whether it's a rapid heartbeat, whether it's dizziness, lightheadedness, whether it's um, sweating, you know, shaking, um, some people call it jelly legs, uh, whatever the physical symptom may be, you know your symptoms by now. Going into this, remember that it all begins and ends in the mind. But as far as physical symptoms go, there is something you can do to kind of ground yourself and make those physical symptoms a little bit more uh, bearable. And when I tell you this, it's going to sound simple, it's going to sound too simple, and you're probably going to be like, yeah, um, that's obvious, but you know, it's not going to work for me, and your mind's going to give you a bunch of reasons um, why whatever I say is just not true for you. I urge you to give it a try anyway. So, with physical symptoms... What really helps take the edge off is to look at them in a more rational light. And you've probably heard that before, but have you really tried it? Um, so let's say, you know, and this also is a way to stomp out second fear. So let's say you are dealing with a rapid heartbeat. This is the most common and basic symptom of them all. The rational, positive way that you could see this and look at this is the heart is the strongest muscle in my body. A rapid heartbeat, the same thing that happens to people after they exercise, after they go on a run, after they have a jog, the same thing, okay? Another way, you know, let me give you another example here, adrenaline. A lot of people deal with adrenaline. I dealt with uh, a lot of adrenaline during my anxiety journey. A good way to look at this, and the way that I used to look at it, which was adding a bunch of second fear and making me very uncomfortable, I used to tell myself, oh no, all of this extra energy, I'm going to go crazy, I'm going to jump out a window, I'm just going to lose control of my body. That's how I used to look at it. But when taking the edge off physical symptoms and doing away with second fear, a way that you could look at it instead is, oh, energy in my arms, energy in my legs... What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with me mentally losing my mind or going crazy or losing control? Consciously, I am in control. A little bit of energy in my arms and legs has nothing to do with my control over my actions, okay? And that's a good way to start looking at it. A little bit of energy in my arms and legs, you're going to let a little bit of energy or a lot of energy in your arms and legs have such an effect over you, such power over you. It all comes back, guys to the way you look at things. Life is about perspective, and second fear is all about what you tell yourself in your mind. It all begins and ends in your mind. The body not knowing the difference between imagination or a real dangerous threat. So when you're constantly negative, when you're constantly entertaining negative ways of thinking, negative beliefs, your body is going to feel it, especially if you are sensitized. If you are sensitized, it's going to be amplified because at that point you have very tired nerves. So not only is that fact true for sensitized people, but it's also true for not sensitized people. The only difference is if you're sensitized, that reaction you're going to feel from all that worry and negative thoughts that you entertain is going to be amplified. So it all comes back to perspective, okay? And I know that sounds too simple. I know going into this thing, especially if you're new to this journey, you're thinking this is way too complicated and complex for his simple advice to work. But it truly all does begin and end in the mind due to that little fact. So 
when dealing with the physical symptoms, try to find new ways to look at them, more rational ways, more positive ways, more truthful ways than the way that you're looking at them now, because more than likely you're looking at them in a very negative, unrational, unrealistic way, and it's causing your body to respond with even more of the anxiety that you don't want. How ironic is that? I know it sucks, but that's just how the cycle works. So we have to start viewing physical symptoms in a more rational way. If we cannot find a new way to view our physical symptoms that is more rational and positive, we are just going to keep entertaining old, negative, unhelpful beliefs that are going to give us more of the symptoms that we don't want. So whatever physical symptom it is that bothers you, that causes a lot of negative, scary thoughts, find a new way to look at it find a new point of view okay it all begins and ends in your mind <clears throat> that is what the two main keys is all about accepting your feelings for what they are in a rational way behaving how you want to feel show that brain there's no real danger okay behaving how you want to feel is going to change your entire vibe and our second main key not following those negative thoughts and that one is so important due to the fact and i've been saying it a lot in recent streams but it's so important you remember this and take it with you due to the fact that your body does not know the difference between a real threat and your imagination so the more you're entertaining negative thinking the more you're going to feel it in the body especially if you are sensitized and that's why that is one of our two main keys okay don't overcomplicate this thing. It truly all comes back to that little fact, and it truly all begins and ends in your mind, all right? Not following your thoughts. I'm just going to get into that real quick. The best way to go about that is present moment living. Keep your mind focused on the now. When thoughts come, you can notice them. You can accept that they came. Don't get frustrated because there's nothing we can do about them coming, but what we can do is choose not to follow them where they want to take us. Oh, Hello, I see you knocking up there. No, thank you. I accept that you came, but I'm not adding to that. I'm not going to fuel the fire. Thank you. I accept you, but I'm not going there. So attention returns then to the present moment. Now that, that was a mouthful. Energy, adrenaline, all the same thing. So we have to start seeing these physical symptoms in a new light. It all begins and ends in the mind. Our two main keys, accept your feelings, you know, act as if you felt like a million bucks. Show that brain that there's no real danger. Change your vibe. And do not follow those negative thoughts because your body's going to feel it because it doesn't know any better. Reality is okay. Reality is always fine, right? Nine times out of ten, reality is always fine. It's what we entertain in our minds that makes us miserable, that makes our body flare up, that ultimately leads to our suffering. It all begins and ends in the mind. So, whew. <coughs> <laughs> with all that out of the way, <laughs> I am going to read some comments real quick. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Freedom. Um, hello, Christopher Sherry. I'm just scrolling through real quick. Hi, Wonder Bro. You're awesome, brother. Keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, where do you stand on using anxiety medication? Uh, I can't really give a whole lot of insight on that. All I can tell you is that I didn't personally use medication and I was once upon a time being in bottles. So if that tells you anything, you know. Uh, but I can't really touch on that simply because that's totally up to you. Can't really get into meds. Um, <clears throat> Why do you feel worse in the morning? Because your body is just getting woke up. So your your levels in your body, they're a little out of whack. you got to let them even out. And the best thing to do is to not add second fear. That's what this all comes back to. That's what this all comes back to. Requires meds for life. That is the biggest load of horse shit I've ever heard. Biggest load of horse shit. It, it honestly saddens me that we have therapists and psychiatrists and uh, quote-unquote professionals out there that don't know jack shit about any of this and tell people they have to be on medication for the rest of their life because it's easier to stick pills up somebody's asshole than it is to actually help them and guide them down the right path, right? It's easier to shove a Xanax down someone's throat than it is to give them the tools uh, that they need to retrain their brain naturally. But you know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> that's just my opinion. I think the, um, <clears throat> I think the entire mental health, um, community really needs to take a turn um which i mean recently it has been but i think i think acceptance and the knowledge that i teach and you know a few select others teach 
Um, it, it needs to become more and more popular because we got a lot of people out there who are suffering and they're being told that they absolutely cannot get any better unless they, you know, down a Xanax or something. So, anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, no, Beth, there's, I think, around 30, almost 35 people here. Um, some people just don't chat a lot, and that's fine. Some people just like to hang out and kind of uh, chill in the background, which is fine with me. Not everyone is a social butterfly. <laughs> Uh, hi Chris, how are you today? Had a time at the concert. It was a Super Tramp cover band. Never even heard of that. I never even heard of that. <laughs> I don't think so. I started seeing a chiropractor and believe it or not, it worked like a charm. That is awesome. That is amazing. Good on ya. Good on ya. I have a bag of 35, yes, 35 different medications that have been given by a psychiatrist because nothing worked for me. Wonderbro has helped me more than anyone has. You're amazing. That is amazing. Thank you so much for that comment. Yeah, I just think, you know, that's that's one of the few topics that I actually get a little emotionally involved in and get a little bit heated when we talk about psychiatrists telling people they absolutely must get all these brain-numbing meds in order to um, experience relief. They have no clue what they're talking about. They go to school for how many years, and no one, and apparently they come out with no knowledge, or just a, a little bit of knowledge, just to, just to scrape by and call themselves a psychiatrist or whatever. But it's like, how long do you go to school to come out as dumb as you were going in about this this topic, telling people they have to have uh, medication in order to experience relief? That's a cop out. It's a cop-out. You obviously have no clue what you're talking about. If you want to numb people and turn them into zombies and tell them that they absolutely must shove this shit down their throat in order to feel relief, then you're a jackass. At the end of the day, that's, that's what it comes down to. You're a jackass, and you have no clue what you're talking about. You, have no, you need to pick up some more books, apparently. Apparently, you need to study a little bit harder. I don't know what they taught you in school, um, but I guess it wasn't much. <laughs> you definitely helped me realize I am sensitized, and second fear, I still have my anxiety, but it's not even half as bad as, uh, anymore. Thanks so much, dude, for sharing your knowledge. My pleasure. It's what I'm here for. Love it. Love it. <laughs> They'd be going to school forever with massive debt. Yeah, going to school forever just to get it get out and tell people they need to shove a Xanax down their throat. <laughs> I don't get it. Hi Chris, here from Ireland. Suffered anxiety and panic attacks for last nine months. Refused all meds. Started listening to positive affirmations. Found you. You're a legend, bud. Thank you. It is my pleasure. It is truly my pleasure. I'm only here to help people. Sometimes I do get a little bit heated when people think they can't recover and that they have to be a zombie for the rest of their life in order to f uh, fill any relief. You know, I just want to find the people who told these people that and gave them that idea and strangle them because it is not true. It is not true whatsoever. Follow the advice here on the channel. You know, um, don't let me make the choice for you if you'd rather be on medication, if you'd rather do whatever your therapist says, what, whatever, that's fine, absolutely do that, I'm not forcing you to do anything, you're responsible for your own choices and actions, I'm just giving you my opinion, uh, but you can experience relief, you can, without all of that, you can. <clears throat> Thanks so much for your wonder, uh, wonderful guidance, it is my pleasure, I love helping people, I do, I do, I love helping people, I love guiding them down the right path. Nobody is required to listen to a thing that I say, but if you would like to give it a try, if you would like to give it a try, I promise you won't regret it. <clears throat> Fear of swallowing. I think Dr. Claire Weeks touches on that in her book a little bit. And it's just another symptom, right? It's just another symptom. You're not going to choke and die. So it's kind of like um, the way she basically puts it in her book is that if you have that fear, you just need to eat anyway. Um, it's just like any any sort of phobia. Once you see how untrue it really is, um, no doubt that the symptoms are there, but you're not gonna you know you're not gonna choke or die from it. 
And that's basically what uh, Dr. Claire Weeks says in her books. I think there's a little uh, interaction in her book between her and a client where she actually gets him to um, eat for her just to kind of prove it. Just to kind of prove her points. I hope everyone's having a good day. What has everyone been up to today? It's 11-11 um, here. How ironic. 11-11 here. Um, my sleep has been fixed for a little while now. <clears throat> I don't want to take meds since I notice already the positive difference while using the two main keys. It's the psychiatrist dropped my confidence level. Hey, I'm, I'm here to tell you. Um, it doesn't matter if someone has a piece of paper or not saying anything. Um, at the end of the day, people have their opinions, right? Whether you're a quote-unquote professional or not, people have their opinions. And it is in my opinion that any psychiatrist who tells you that you can't recover and that you must be on meds for the rest of your life is wrong. And that is my opinion. Um, you know, you, you can believe what you want to believe, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you listen to the videos, you put it into play, it's nothing but straight fact. It's nothing but straight fact what I teach. Totally up to you, though. I was deep into the anxiety fear when I found your videos, and it literally changed everything for me. I watch one a day for daily motivation. That is awesome. Keep going. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep putting it into practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Yes, anxiety is all lies. No tech class today, so I'm free to be lazy. Yes, perfect. Those waves. Ride those waves. You're going to drown if you try to stand up against them. Ride them instead. Ride him and said, no second fear. If that's the only thing you remember or take from my channel, no second fear, as in uh, not entertaining negative thoughts and not adding to uh, these symptoms with negative thoughts, you know, so forth and so on. If that's the only thing you take from my channel, you'll make progress. Ride those waves. That's what it's all about, right? stretch going <sighs> gotta get a little stretch going I can tell I'm going to be very very tired today <laughs> I can already tell it's gonna be one of those days where I'm just yeah if it's hit uh, hits out of the blue that's perfect write it write it don't add second fear that's what it all comes down to that's what your main practice needs to be microwavable burritos. I had like chicken nuggets and smiley fries for breakfast. What a beautiful breakfast. What a beautiful breakfast that is. <laughs> Nose itches. We've been going up quite a bit in views recently. Big things are in store for this channel. Big, big things. And I'm glad you guys are all a part of it. I'm glad you guys are all a part of it. Let's see, I'm checking some checking some statistics at the moment. Whew. So we average out at about uh we average about fifteen hundred to two thousand views per video. And it hits that mark actually pretty quickly, which is really, really cool. We're definitely growing, and that makes me beyond happy. How do you implement the two main keys when sleeping? Oh, okay, you're talking about when you wake up. Okay, just put them right into play. Just put them right into practice as soon as you get out of bed. I'll think it's a panic attack even when it's not, which brings on an actual attack. It brings on an actual attack because we keep coming back to that fact, right? The brain does not know the difference between a real threat to your life and your negative imagination. And that's why any sort of negative entertained thinking can lead to that. Uh, as far as uh, physical symptoms go, like, you know, the whole point of this stream is that 
Although we can't end like directly reach in and solve a physical symptom, like there's not like a miracle cream or something, you know what I mean, or you know whatever. What we can do is stop adding second fear, practice our two main keys, right? Become more rational in our being, and this will lead ultimately to the symptoms fading. So although we can't like rub a miracle cream on our arm to get it to stop tingling, and we can't like reach in and make our heart stop beating so fast. We can indirectly control these symptoms by getting them to fade as we practice these two main keys. If you're uh, curious more about my symptoms, my story, um, which I can tell you I pretty much experienced every freaking symptom in the book. It was, um, it was something else. Uh, just look up Wonder Bro My Story. I've got several videos on that. And that would be much easier than trying to go over it all in this stream. But yeah, I've got several videos. Check them out if you want to. Uh, you should teach or speak to kids in school and spread the two main keys. Yeah, they would not have me in a school. I mean, they should. Like, that would be excellent. I feel like they need to teach this in school. Like, so much more beneficial than anything else they teach in school. Uh, but they would they would not have me in a school zone. I'd take two steps into the front door and I'd be arrested. I mean, look at me. And that's that's just the judgmental world we live in, right? Like, I look like a violent person because I have face tattoos and... I look like, you know, whatever. <laughs> Things are getting slowly uh, better, both related to advanced industry. Yes, keep moving forward, keep learning. Uh, the two main keys are to accept your feelings, basically, you know, accept what's there, there's nothing we can do about it. Resistance is just fuel to the fire. And the second main key is to not follow your negative thoughts. Anytime they knock, accept that they come. But say simply to yourself, I'm not going there. Because I know my body is going to play off that, right? Nah, bro, you look awesome. I do think I look awesome. I like the way I look. But um, people are very judgmental. If I got anywhere close to a school, they would probably arrest me. <laughs> you guys hear my text tone? Kim Possible. Hey Wonder Bro, I'm three months into recovery. After suffering with anxiety for a few years, your channel was a lifeline to me uh, while I was in therapy. No meds. Cheers, mate. That's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love hearing your success stories. And it's so cool that you come, uh, you guys come back after recovering and share it with the rest of us. Uh, because it gives other people, you know, here on the channel hope. It shows them that what I teach here is the way to go. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <coughs> if you want more, more, uh, you know, videos and details on the two main keys, pretty much all of my mental health related videos come back to the two main keys in one way or another. So just check some of the videos out that you haven't seen yet. There is plenty of knowledge here on the channel. Plenty of knowledge. Like, I could stop making videos today and everything that you need to know about your, you know, recovery journey and your spiritual life, everything you need to know is pretty much already on this channel. Um, I just continue to make videos because, one, I'm passionate about it, two, it gets people caught up, and three, I like putting things in different ways to try to, you know, get through to everybody. You're definitely not alone. Any, nobody on this channel is alone. Nobody on this channel is alone. In one way or another, you guys are all in the same boat, and I've been there as well. Um, so you are definitely not alone. What about improving sleep? It's just impossible. Yeah, it will feel impossible. It will feel impossible for a little while uh, until those symptoms start to fade by using the two main keys. You will notice that your sleep slowly starts to return, and that is a great sign to look for. I think that was in our video, uh, signs of recovery to look for, and sleep returning was one of those. It's energy. It's going to hit a peak, then it ends, of course. Yes, that is the most simple way to view it. Very, very true. Good comment. Wonder Bro live. Woo! Hello, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome. I do uh, consider myself 100% recovered. When I started this channel, which was about two years ago or so, maybe three now, I don't know, um, the first video that I ever uploaded here on the channel is when I knew deep down in my soul that I was back to me, that I was recovered. So that's why I uploaded my first video to then try to help other people reach that same point. 
We do have a, um, somebody mentioned Facebook. Uh, we do have a Facebook group. I mean, I can try to grab it and post it in the comments. I don't know if it'll, like, let me do that. But there is, there's the Wonder Bro Facebook page, which you can give a like to. And I post, like, daily motivational stuff on there. I try to keep it updated uh, daily. Um, and then there's the Wonder Bro Facebook group, which you can actually join and post in. Um, let me see if I can drop the link to the group. Boom. Nope. Not gonna work. Okay. That's weird. Um, let's see. Error. Anyway, if you guys want to join the group, all you gotta do is go on Facebook and type in, uh, Wonder Bros Mental Health Family. It'll be right there. Send a request. I will accept it. We also have a Discord where, uh, if you don't know what Discord is, it's a big fancy chat room where people can just join, make a profile, and it's anxiety acceptance-based chat. All the members are members from my channel, or, you know, subscribers from my channel. One big happy group. Completely free. Discord is completely free. I will try to post the link to that. I don't know if it'll let me again. It might shut me down again. Um... I do want to do that. Set this link. Copy. So yeah, this is just a big old fancy chat room. Uh, here. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, that one came through. So if you want to join our chat room, all you got to do is click on that. You can get Discord on your phone, your computer, tablet, doesn't matter. I also have Instagram and Twitter while we're talking about social media. I have Instagram and Twitter, Wonder Bro Yo. You can follow, uh, find me on all my social media under Wonder Bro Yo. I try to keep it updated pretty much all the time. Oops, sorry about that. This mic is on a big metal arm, and I'm always accidentally hitting it, and I'm sure it's loud. Since I implemented the two main keys, I started to feel better. That is awesome, okay? And it does take time. There's a time lag between these new positive habits with the two main keys that you're forming and your brain catching up. So if it's not immediate results, continue forth. Dedication. I hope you got my donation yesterday. You are awesome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did get your donation yesterday, and I'm so glad you're here so I can thank you. Wow. She sent me, okay, in chat there. I'm pretty sure it's a she. Uh, <laughs> sent me a $100 donation yesterday. I wasn't even streaming. I was just chilling. And I was like, whoa, what is this? Thank you so much for that. You have no idea how much that helped me. You have no idea how much that helped me. Thank you so much for that donation. I'm glad you're here so I can thank you now. Okay. There's no way for me to reply on, like, PayPal to thank people for their donations. So unless I'm streaming, I can't express my gratitude. Um, so I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for that. You are amazing. No one ever has to donate, but I am so grateful when you do. It helps me more than you know. Uh, YouTube is all I do for a living. I live off of the coaching sessions that I do with people and the donations. I don't have ads turned on right now, and that probably won't happen until next year. Um, but between donations and coaching sessions, I do okay. And I have you guys to thank for that. So thank you so, so freaking much. Really appreciate that. I need to slow down on smoking, but you know, maybe I can make a video journal of my progress on slowing down on cigarettes. <laughs> Is that something you guys would watch if I decided to do that? I don't know. This is a habit I've had since like 14, so. And they always say that you got to want to quit, and I've never felt that way. <laughs> I've just never felt that way. It is a she. Okay. Glad I got that right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that donation. It means the world to me. And truly does help me out a ton. Because like I said, this is my this is my only source of income. So thank you so much for that. That was very, very, very generous of you. You make me want to smoke again. Don't smoke again. Don't. If you were able to quit, just just don't even bother. Don't even bother. Yeah, I've always heard that you abs you have to want to. Like, you can't just quit because it's something that you know you should do. You have to legitimately, deep down in your soul, want to. And I've never, <laughs> I've never been there. 
can't say I've ever been there. <laughs> I'd be happy to donate on my next payday. You guys don't have to do that, but it means so much to me. I'm so grateful for all my donators here on the channel. It, it truly means the world to me. The reason you're seeing this stream now, you know, everything from the microphone to the headset on my freaking head to the computer to the lights, even this, this sound foam on the wall. Everything is thanks to you guys. I had none of this before I started the channel. I had a cell phone. And that's what I started the channel with, was my old iPhone 5C. It was like a little green iPhone. That's what I started the channel with. And thanks to you guys, we actually have a legit setup now. Um, this camera, this Canon camera that I do my videos with, was given to me, donated to me, by a viewer. They sent it to me brand new. Um, everything is thanks to you guys. I appreciate it so much. You have no clue. Um, I do the one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can reach out to me through the Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter. I think I've got a few I need to catch up on right now. I'm not sure. Uh, but just get up with me on any of my social media, really. Private message me, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Give you some more information on that. Uh, this channel helps a lot of people. I hope it does. That's the goal. That is the goal, to keep growing, to keep helping people. That's what it's all about. Just want to help people. <clears throat> yeah, it might just all be in your head, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. Most things in life are. CBD oil um, does help some people, and I don't really see a problem with it. I don't really see a problem with it. This channel has helped me a bunch. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love my little spaceship up here in the corner too. It makes me happy. I'm on my phone, by the way. Just so you guys know what I'm doing. We're at that point in the stream where we're all just kind of chilling. I need to get my green screen back up, but I need to find a way to put it up to where I can like take it up and down, kind of like you would like curtains or, or blinds or something. I need to find a system for that. Because I like switching back and forth between this background that you see now and the green screen. I just need to find a way to make that happen. Yeah, none of you are alone. None of you are alone. If you feel alone, join the Discord. It's, there's always a chat going on there. Or the Facebook page. The Facebook page is always there, too. Oh, yeah. My channel will always be free. Um, that's, why, that's why all the videos... You can set videos up on YouTube to where they have to pay to be viewed. But that'll never happen here on the channel. I might turn ads on, but that doesn't mean anything. There's still You can still watch the videos. They're still free. Videos will always be free, and nothing is ever left out of the videos that you need. It's all right there. I only offer the coaching sessions for people who want that one-on-one -on -one approach and, you know, to keep food in my stomach. Uh, but other than that, everything you need is in the free videos, and it'll, it'll always remain that way till the end of time. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you can definitely recover even if your anxiety was triggered by drugs or whatever it may be. I've heard that um, from a lot of people actually. There's a lot of people who have been triggered from that and they've recovered. So absolutely, the same way that um, anyone can recover, you can recover. 110%. Practice your present moment skills. As far as that comment about Gad goes, practice your present moment skills. Um, I would recommend that you go to my channel, type in Wonder Bro Thoughts, watch any of my video on thoughts. It all begins and end in your, ends in your mind. It truly, truly does. I'm going to jump back on Discord for a second. Uh... 
uh, where's my Discord icon? Oh, okay, there it is. <coughs> there it is. Hello, follow your bliss. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day today. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, how do I message someone? Okay, here we go. How long have we been doing this stream? How long have we been going, guys? Uh, 30 minutes? Okay, not bad. Not bad. I think I am going to go ahead and end it here, though. Okay, I know. It's sad. I am going to go ahead and end it here, though. It has been a lovely stream, and I have enjoyed it sincerely. Thank you for all the questions. It truly does help other people learn. If you'd like to join the Discord, you can. Uh, we got a Facebook group. Follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I think that's everything. Wonder Bro Yo. You can find me all under the, you know the same same tag wonder bro yo so thank you guys very much thank you for that donation i really really appreciate that you are so kind and generous and i love you thank you so much and until next time as always boom right there stay awesome